All right, Lowell, you know what time it is. It's 8 o'clock on Thursday, and it is time for Lowell Train. It's the third Thursday of every month, and Lowell Train is running into the house. This month, we got the Human League. Wait, no. No, we don't have the Human League. Sorry. Uh, it's not a synth pop band from the 80s. It is the only things Lowell Mass is only... No, oh, damn it. That's wrong, too. Uh... It is the only humans. It's the only humans, and they're from Methuen. They made the track down 110. 110, right, guys? Best way to go. Uh, it used to be a raceway. It's not anymore. It used to be more lanes. Anyway, they came down that treacherous 110 by the Merrimack River to join us tonight. And the only humans tonight. I do dangerous things to try to impress you. To try to impress you, I do dangerous things. And your mother tells you to stay away but I'll be on my roof every night and day waiting waiting for the ships to come home I do Your mother
your denim jacket out of style for everyone but you. And a white hole in the sky where the moon broke through. The same bus stop where I used to pick you up. sound of your voice would have been enough. Oh, but Judy, it's been a long, long time. A new shade of the old guilt shines in your eyes. Pale rays from the high moon hit you just right. Names like curse words that you're still afraid to say. The drive back home is quiet a whole way. I wanted to believe every trick. Play. Oh, but Judy, it's been a long, long time. driveway where I remember you so well. You threw your arms around me like we were under attack. Your forehead on my cheek was harder than hell. And your fake fingernails left scars on my back. song about the end of the world. They told me they would call when all the smoke had gone. At least till then I won't have to worry about the bad things going on. And I no longer miss the windows in walls since I built my own with frames I made and hung up in the halls and whenever I've got time I paint a new world outside I could win any game I have a 
garden of plastic flowers and the flowers, flowers all have names and it's never dull the days go by so fast the lights flicker from time to time but i'm sure they will going to play a couple more and then we'll take the the interview break. We have a fan in the audience today. We brought our fan. the windows cracked I won't mind if you leave the lights off when it gets too dark to see because I feel just like a dark boy every time you look at me look I didn't come here with a purpose I didn't come to change your mind Sometimes I panic in the moment, sometimes I panic all the time. I should have kept it to myself, and just let you wonder why. Your name's the definition that everybody knows me by. It's a note scribbled in the dark try to read during the day and you can't make any sense of it but you keep it anyway i saw you first from a distance lit like lightning in the sky you shattered me so easily when you came into my life and it's nothing that you can plan for it's unexpected i suppose like finding a ghost inside a church after you stop believing
the way you found yourself. The way that I lost mine. Things all go in circles and never straight seems to line. And the best that I can hope for is that maybe you will see. I didn't ask to be a part of this. But this is always going to be a part of me. Thank you. This is our our last song of this fir first part of the thing. This is I I prefer to have. I prefer to. I got my water bottle. You can't see that. I have it off camera. This is uh, I prefer to uh, give all my songs titles that I don't say those words in the song. And this is called Five Years from Now. When the last light of day went flickering from the room. I was frozen like a statue in the cold light of the moon with my back against the wall and my head down on my knees intercepting rapid glimpses of unfamiliar memories and these transmissions came and went like film strips from a life one that wasn't mine but might have been and i looked happy and composed i looked fearless and complete and maybe one day i might be but right then everything in me needed fixing and i didn't know where to be darkness stops, then it's not so deep. And all at once, the fever broke. I opened my eyes and looked about. And like a prisoner who's just tumbled out, I was tired and free. Oh, 
All right, that was the only humans. You're watching them on Lowell Train. I want to thank everybody here. I want to thank the crew. I want to thank the band. We're going to take a little break, uh, get a little behind-the-scenes footage, a little interview footage. Uh, Dr. Mitch Mitchell, musician technician, is going to be in the house interviewing uh, the only humans. We have a quick uh, video from our sponsor for tonight. Our pizza sponsor is Fabiano's Pizza on Merrimack Street, Lowell. Lowell Train wants to thank Fabiano's for sponsoring the show, giving the crew and the band something to eat tonight. Four great pizzas they drop by. Excellent stuff. Uh, we're taking a break. I'll see you at the end of the break. I am Maximus Sack, your host, Lowell Train. Welcome to the Lowell Train. If you are receiving this transmission, you are a survivor. My name is Dr. Samillion, and I'm here with the only humans. Welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you, you doctor. <laughs> Welcome. So um, we're opening this interview today with a few basic questions. All right. I've already introduced yourselves as a band. Yeah. Now, coming from this side, mm -hmm. from the uh, lovely young lady, can we get your individual names? Yeah. For the record. <laughs> For the record. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm Renee Gothier. Neil Morrissey. Uh, Tim Howard. Moses Diaz. Wow. And that is the only humans. We are the only humans. I'm human as well. I am not a machine. For the record. <laughs> 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 and uh, I definitely want to get into the, the hard-earned questions. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, the ones everyone's talking about. Right. Uh, endless boredom slideshow. <laughs> yeah. What is that about? <laughs> it's uh, it's called it's called endless bedroom slideshow. Uh, bedroom slideshow. <laughs> I, I, boredom feels. Like but boredom Neil slideshow. Neil doesn't love it. He, this was before Neil was in the band, and uh, and it's and before any of us were in the band. I think yeah. it was before anyone was in the band. Yeah, it was just me. It was yeah. just me and another yeah. guy. So you were the only human. I was no no. It was me and another gentleman named okay. Scott. And uh, we, were, we were the only humans. And it was called the Andrews Bedroom <laughs> Slideshow. But it's not our best work because it's, it's kind of old and everything. You're so so, really young, so yeah. whenever we refer to it, Neil always calls it the Endless Board, <laughs> the Endless Board and Board Slideshow. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I, I maybe, prefer that night. Maybe he went online and hacked uh, whatever you guys maybe. had. Maybe. I haven't looked at <laughs> it. Because <laughs> <laughs> I've seen Boredom. Oh. I don't know if Did that you? Was, uh, uh, no, no, no. I swear. It wasn't it. me. Maybe. No. That's fine. It's fine. Maybe it was a machine. Maybe. It was the machines. It was the machines. For sure. Maybe. Yeah. Um, so why the only humans? That's a great w question. Why the only humans? Ooh. <laughs> you want the real answer? <laughs> I, I don't know. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't have. As a be as cruel as you possibly can. I don't. Okay. I don't have a, a good name. A good reason for having that name. I chose it. We, myself and Scott, we were in another band called Jordash, and we decided it was named after a third person who was in the band who didn't. Um, who left the band? Okay. And we didn't want to carry on after with his name. Right. So that's we wanted a new right? yeah. We wanted a new band name. And my philosophy behind band names is they shouldn't mean anything. They they're basically the Dewey, Dewey Decimal si the System Dewey of music of stores. Wow. Yeah. So that way, when you go, you know where to look for the people you want to listen to. Right. Right. And we came up with a bunch of names, and Only Humans was one of them. I thought it sounded. It, it could be a couple things. Like, uh, unfortunately, our present situation where the entire rest of the human race is extinct, yeah. it's very applicable <laughs> now. <laughs> um, it can be, it can be, you know, related to maybe the, the next album would be called Dystopia. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. maybe. Cool. One of the next thing we have has has a song actually about the last guy living on Earth. Really? But it, it was it was literally we went to an open mic night the night I decided I was tired of not playing music live. I was like, I'm, I called Scott, I said, I'm going to do this show tonight. And he said, hey, I'm coming too. Well, I went over to his house and he wrote two parts to his, his songs and we went to this open mic. And, um, it's with and an open mic? Yeah, it was an open mic. Really? Yeah, we just looked into an open mic and we needed a name and we talked on the drive down about, about five different names. And then the guy asked us what our name was. And I said, the only humans. And that was it forever wow. because they liked us and we went back and wow. we couldn't change it at that point. <laughs> right. And I, I think it's applicable. I mean, 
the music is amazing. Yeah, I would hope. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's the goal. Right. I think it's getting better. Yeah. Right. Certainly. Yeah. And everything else is just dead. So. Yes, yeah, so it doesn't so even matter. There's no competition, there's no competition. No. at this point. Yeah. So. The only humans. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, seven pictures left. Yeah. It's a good song. That, that's actually one of our popular songs. I My favorite. <laughs> yeah, we're, we'll be yeah. playing that. We'll be playing All that right. next week. Yeah, that's one of our more popular songs. Uh, now Scott Poe is our guitar player, and he he played all the the guitar parts for that. Uh, now that he's gone, I play the rhythm guitar. Neil plays the violin for that part. So yeah. it's if you heard the version that's online, right. Neil Neil's going to play the same part just on violin. It's really wow. it's, yeah. it's yeah. very touching. So yeah, that's so <laughs> that's the goal. Right. Yeah. So we're not using robots. We're just going to be all real instruments, real yes, humans, real yeah. electric violin. Really, yeah. is it an electric violin? Yeah. I've yeah. never heard that before. Yeah, I've it's never. Renee's got one too. Yeah, you know? I've got Neil's old electric <laughs> violin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so sweet. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I lost my doctor's license for this one because I mean, <laughs> maybe I don't know what's going on. I mean, electric violins? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Seriously? Yeah, for real? Yeah, yeah. It's a, yeah. It's a thing. Like for cereal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely, <laughs> right. absolutely. Okay. The better the better they are, the more they sound like an acoustic violin. Okay. But uh, most most. I mean, like unless you've got all those pedals going, mm -hmm. like yeah. distortion. Yeah. And His your violin your is like a million dollar violin. <laughs> a million dollars. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Come on, don't dollar. lie. Yeah. He gets a new <laughs> one every week. It's, 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 it's yeah. more than a scientific <laughs> budget, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. It has so, uh, Bluetooth, everything. How long, how long have, has this been a cohesive thing? How long have we been how the long only humans? The only humans has existed since 2012. This version of the Ironic year? Yeah, oh, because that's, that's when the world yes, ended. That's when the world ended. This guy. Yeah. He's good. <laughs> no, see, you clearly got your, your doctorate in, in post apocalyptic <laughs> yes. world history. World so. it, thank you, sir. <laughs> so there yeah. we go. Um, we, we start, I started in 2012. Moses joined us shortly after that. As he's our drummer. Okay. And uh, we were that way for a little while. We had members come in, come, come and go. And last year, we played the Lowell Folk Festival. And for that, uh, Neil and Renee both joined us. That was their first show. So they've been with us for the past year. Yeah. So this, okay. is, this is how the band's basically been. We had a bassist, and he recently left. So as far as, as, far as this four people and nobody else, right. since about January. Okay. Wow. Yeah. That's still pretty cohesive, right? January, yeah. January, January, we're here. We're still here. We're all so related, what yeah. is your favorite venue that you've ever played at besides Lowell Train? <laughs> Oh you guys goodness. can answer this because me and Moses are going to have a different answer. <laughs> 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 um, the Folk Festival was really fun. We were playing that at... Yeah. Um, was that the was Worthen, Worthen lot? Yeah. The Worthen. That was a lot yeah. of fun. Oh, the Worthen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice place. That is a great place. We were in like the parking lot outside. Yeah, it's a place for humans. It is. Yeah. Hardwood yeah. floors. <laughs> Before everything was leveled to right, the ground. Right, right. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, I don't know. I always enjoy when we do uh, Midway Cafe. Midway That's Cafe. That's fun. That's in uh, Cambridge? Uh, Jamaica Plain. Jamaica Plain? Yeah. 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 Uh, Hello, Jamaica Plain. Yeah. Cool. If, yeah. If you're still there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we uh, actually, the Folk Festival was actually one of the most fun things we've done. What, what stage were you guys playing at for the Folk? Was it, that the Wardrobe? It was at the Wardrobe. The, 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 the parking Warthren. lot. Yeah. They okay. had like a beer festival and right. everything. And we played right. there. And there were like 200 people there. I think that's the most people we've played for. There's a club in Boston that used that no longer exists called TT the Bears. TT the Bears. And uh, Moses and I had played there. Yeah, several I agree times. the same. And it's that my was favorite like, place. What, 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 what was it? Was it the audience that gave you? Uh, guys we always the got energy? we always got pretty full audiences. The the people were great. Uh, the bands we played with were awesome. Right. We we actually we play in Lowell a ton, and the band we played with first and uh, their name's Arlen. They. Uh, we played a show with them at TT the Bears. Right. They met us, and then like later that week, they said, "We have a show. Somebody dropped out. Can you play it?" And right. since then, we've been playing around Lowell a lot because wow. we fill in when anyone drops wow. out. <laughs> wow! I like the sound quality over there. It really blew my mind. Wow, the acoustics of the whole. Yeah. It wow, it's amazing. It's the best experience TT ever. TT the Bears, and they're closed down. They need to open. Yeah. Did yeah. they, they would get replaced with a new like? Have you heard of the Middle East in, in oh, Cambridge? Of yeah. Course. The Middle East just bought them, and I think they're replacing them with uh, with another venue just because they didn't want to compete. Right. I think with another uh, thing. Right. That's just the humans. That's oh, yeah. The humans. Man. Some kind of, some right. kind of humans. Standard, standard. Humans from the past. Standard end of the world the alarm. That's, right. That's right. Just, you know, we know. So before the world ended, there was a lot of music circulating before humans went extinct. What is your favorite song, and what is the song you would love to cover? That way you would cover. You would feel comfortable covering endlessly till the end of time. I know you all might have a different 
That is a opinion? great question. So what is the song that you were you're a drummer? Yeah. What song can you drum to endlessly? Oh, Blood Buzz Ohio <laughs> by the National. Yeah. Blood One Buzz of my Ohio. favorite, favorite bands of all time. Okay. And Neil. I'm Tim. Tim. But that's fine. Neil. I'm that's so fine. sorry. Neil, Neil can answer that one. Yeah. I, I have a problem uh, labeling, so we so look the same. We right. accidentally wore mostly the same clothes. Neil, <laughs> Tim. <laughs> Neil, Tim. I should have wore something. Too. Right. The yeah. yeah the the vest got me. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, Tim. Tim. Yes. Uh, I don't know. We play it. We play. It. My favorite song and my favorite song to cover might be two different things. I'm going to have so many answers for this. Um, if you do the one song that you could cover endlessly, I, I probably band, worded that. There's a band called the Mountain Goats. And the Mountain Goats. Yeah. I love Mountain Goat Milk. Yes, yes. <laughs> they, yes. I think they do both. I think they, do, I think they got their name because they, they mostly drink Mountain Goat Milk. Uh, I'll wow. have to fact check that. Right. But... Uh, but the first time I saw them play live, that's the time I decided I was definitely wanted to be a musician. And he has a song called "Old College Try," and just I just he sang these words. I I never listened. I like lyrics and music, but but I never really loved the lyrics and music. And he sang this this song when I went with my friend. They were actually opening for another band we went to see. Right. And uh, my friend knew the Mountain Goats, and he loved the Mountain Goats, and so they were playing this song called "Old College Try." Never heard any of their songs before at all. And I just had this moment. Um, he, he was singing this song. He sang the last couple lines before the chorus, and it's just okay. this, this amazing metaphor. And I turned to my friend. I got goosebumps. I turned to my friend, and I said, did he write this song? And, <coughs> and he said, yeah, he writes. And I said, he, people write songs like this? So and, can, can, and please, please endow us with these, uh, the lyrics? With these wise words. So, so it, the setup is... After a couple lines, he's talking about the way those eyes I've always loved illuminate this place, which is a great setup, but it's kind of cliche. And then he brings it home with the, the simile, which is like a trash can fire in a prison cell, like the searchlights in the parking lots of hell. And that coupled with the melody just kind of blew wow. my mind wide wow. open. And that was the moment where I was like, that's what I want to do for the wow. rest of my life is write <laughs> songs. Wow. And touch the hearts of yeah. humans if they're alive. If, if there were, <laughs> but unfortunately they were, they're, they're not. not. So. <laughs> so these are transmissions that we're sending out and we're trying to survive. Yes. Let's find any survivors. Yeah, yeah. hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. Bring them all I'm, here. I'm totally worked up for meeting humans for the first time in a long time. <laughs> yes. So Neil, yeah. what is your, your, your one go-to song that you would... Not mind covering. Not mind. It's a song I wouldn't mind covering. Covering <laughs> till right. the end of endlessly. Who sings uh Tim? Who sings a uh, Total Eclipse of the Heart? Bonnie Tyler. Bonnie Tyler. <laughs> I think. We, we were driving yes. to a show once and uh, totally we were we were doing yeah you got it he's got it um we were doing uh we were just listening to some tunes getting a total psyched, eclipse and of the total heart. eclipse of the heart comes on wow and this girl sitting on my right yeah she was just wailing on the <laughs> melody oh my god really it was awesome oh, it was thanks. wonderful I was like, we gotta we gotta try that once it's an ambitious song it is, it is. Well, it's, it's too ambitious for me. <laughs> but it's a, i was it's like a phenomenal song yeah. i think and well, of course, you always sound better when you're just screaming in a car. Of right? Yeah, well, most of right. Cambridge has already heard us do this song. <laughs> so I guess the windows rolled down all the way. Yeah, yeah. that is true. <laughs> That's good to know. And last but not least. Um, I'm not sure. Um, I really like a lot of songs that have like strong harmonies or strong like two, like a man and a woman singing. So probably I would say Little Talks by Monsters and Men. Nice. Wow. Um, nice. But I know there are strong aversions to that song within this group, so that's probably not one that would happen. Not here. Do you not like that song? No, I just don't care about the band particularly. But the song, <laughs> the song, the song, the song like is good. I like the song. I like the song. I, I, I've not heard the song myself, so I it's might have fantastic. to. Fantastic! Um, you should look up that whole. Do my album. research. <laughs> I definitely need to do my research. You cut a lot of time on your hands. Um, oh yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. No humans to distract me. <laughs> <laughs> so um, that's that's amazing. So. Um, I'm trying to think of another question. I'm I'm just so I'm, I'm gassed to see that you guys are here. Yeah. I'm gassed to be in yeah. you guys' presence. Yeah, thank Thanks. you. And we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna have to wrap this up. We're gonna have to wrap this up. I think we're gonna have to wrap this up. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. The trans. I just got word that um, we have There's robots survivors. heading our way. Right. Yes. Survivors. Yes. 
Survivors <laughs> have not contacted us yet, but um, we're gonna have to make we're gonna have guns. to yeah. we're gonna have to make our way back to the show. First, yeah. So if you're watching this out there, this is us getting back to the show. You are a survivor. We love you. Hang tight. <laughs> Hang <train>. tight. <laughs> Somebody pass me a shotgun. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we made it. All right, we are back, and that's what you're coming here for, is to check out the music. And this month's music is brought to us by the Only Humans, Adam Athuin. Not the Only Humans, Adam, the, the, the band's name is the Only Humans, and they're from, ah, just whatever. Just listen to the music. Enjoy. Having having in, uh, having no money to do the things you want to do, so getting drunk enough so that you can pretend you're doing them. <laughs>
on the violin. On my left, Renee Gauthier on the other violin. On my back, Moses Diaz on the drums. The ground presses at our back. We can't sleep for the pain. Branches up above our heads. Pulse like living veins. Thank you, Willie. <laughs> this next song is another song that we're playing. Take all of our meals to the vending machine. Gas stations and highway rest stops. In between, man. Scenic outlook that we go into. Thank me for sharing all of this way with you. Man, fall asleep in the back of the car. I can feel my heart collapsing like a dying star. The wind is howling outside. You pull yourself closer to me. And when we jump back on to the interstate, I think of all the things I need to say, but I decide to let them wait. Cause in the rear view mirror, I can see the rising sun. As you remember and tell all of our favorite inside jokes, one by one, and as your laughter fills my head, frozen with an overwhelming sense of dread, that I will never love anyone as much as I love you. Runs together in a blur. And you ask me to let these days be monument to everything we were. And not what we never got a chance to be. And when we pull on to your brand new street, I help you with the last of your things, and you turn to me. Promise we'll see each other again someday. Like you tell a friend dying in your arms that they're gonna be okay. And as I wave to you from the car, I can feel my heart explode like a dying star. I don't know which way I'll go home, but it won't be the way that I came.
Thank you. That's why my back's been hurting me. <laughs> this next song has all of the favorite verses that I've ever written for, for people who ask to read my verses. The first four, they say, are wonderful. And the last, everybody hates. And the last song verse is about aliens, and it's the only thing I've ever been sure I wrote correctly. I will meet the morning with a javelin in my hand Let fly into the orange sun and kill it where it stands oh, When the sky is hollow and the day is laid to rest And I will read your letter in the light I knew you best Climb the highest mountain till the clouds all fall away the world will spread before me in an infinite display. And when my head is dizzy and I cannot catch my breath, I will read your letter and I'll remember when we met. I will hit the water, come up from the sky. I won't drown because I'll drink the entire ocean dry. I still feel empty and my energy is spent. I will read your letter and I will hear your voice again. I'll avoid the hardest questions and the answers that they break. I'll leave the sword inside the stone because I know that I'm no fake. Some things happen for a reason. Some things happen just because. Everybody does. And when the aliens finally come to carry us away, they'll apologize because there's no room and I have to stay. And when a bright blue shooting star cuts the sky in two, and I will read your letter, and I'll imagine that it's you. Thank you. This is going to be our final song. What? Well, Thank you to Eric uh, and Lowell Train for having us again and all the camera fellas and everybody, Mitchell, for interviewing us. And uh, I didn't get every camera fellow's name, but they're all some kind of a Steve and uh, <laughs> Pat for doing our sound. Thank you very much. This song is about when your friends tell you that the thing you're trying to do is the worst idea for you and they can all see it and you can't, but you don't care because the further you go down the rabbit hole, the happier you will be until everything collapses. And it's also about how much I miss watching cartoons. We're the only humans. This is, uh, once again, this is Renee Gauthier on violin and vocals. Woo! This is Neil Morrissey on violin, mandolin, vocals. Woo! And Moses Diaz on the drums. Yeah. My name's Tim, <laughs> and I'm in the band as well. It hit me like an anvil in an old cartoon. One where everybody gets hurt, but nobody dies. And my teeth were piano keys. There are birds around my head. And it's getting hard to see straight with all these pointed yellow stars in my eyes. And it hit me like a train in a cartoon written before I was born. That 
that I only know because I wake up every day at 5 a.m. My body's trying to tell me there's someone missing from my bed, but my brain ignores it. I get up and I watch cartoons instead. And it hit me the first time you walked into the room. Wearing that short silver dress and that golden age movie star grin. To see there was nothing good you could do for me. You can tell by the way I hit the ground with my chin. We're done with another episode of Lowell Train. Thanks for tuning in. I am your host, Maximus Sack. We do it every month. We do it every week, but only once a month is live. And this is your live night. It's the third Thursday of every month, 8 to 9 on LTC, Channel 8 in Lowell, Massachusetts. I want to thank the crew. I want to thank Mitchell. I want to thank uh, that guy over there. I want to thank Aaron. I want to thank uh, Pat Meany, our uh, sound technician, magician in the control room. I want to thank Steve Maddock. I want to thank uh, Steve uh, Bickford. I want to thank Britt Bogner, who is directing tonight. I want to thank you most of all at home, and I want to thank the only humans, and I want to thank Fabianos. Too many people to thank in this short little outro piece. I am your host, Maximus Sack. Check us out next month. <laughs>